Hi guys. Today we will analyze D. Rowe Price Group stock, and calculate its intrinsic value using two different valuation models. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Technical Analysis The stock's overall performance in the market is below average. Both the long and short term trends are negative. It is better to avoid buying stocks with negative trends unless you are a long term investor. The stock is currently making a new 52 week low. This is a bad signal. Support level is around $138. Strong support levels are around $120 and $100. Resistance levels are around $156 and $175. Strong resistance levels are around $190 and $198. In the last month the stock has been trading between $141.50 and $162.80 range, which is quite wide. It is currently trading near the lows of this range. The stock has an average volume of 1.7 million. This is a good sign as it is always nice to have a liquid stock. Intrinsic Value Buy low, sell high. We have heard it many times before. But how to know when it's low, and when it's high? The intrinsic value of a stock, is its true value. It refers to what a stock is actually worth. Even if some investors think it's worth a lot more than that amount. Intrinsic value is important, because it can help investors understand whether the cost of a stock is undervalued, or overvalued compared to the market value of the stock. Let's calculate the stock's intrinsic value. For more accurate results, we will use two different valuation models to calculate the intrinsic value of the stock. Discounted free cash flow model using the formula below, then, valuation based on earnings per share, 5-year average P.E. ratio and expected growth rate. First model, discounted free cash flow valuation. This spreadsheet contains some financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. We see that the average revenue growth rate of the stock has been around 12% per year, for last 5 years. We see that the average profit margin of the stock has been around 35% per year for last 5 years. Also we see that the average free cash flow to net income rate of the stock, has been around 66% per year, for last 5 years. And we expect 8% per year average stock market return. Now, let's consider 3 different scenarios for T. Rowe Price Group Company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. T. Rowe Price Group will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be low, 3%. Future profit margin would be low, 32%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be low, 65%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $97. Second scenario. T. Rowe Price Group will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be average, 4%. Future profit margin would be average, 36%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be average, 70%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $120. Third scenario. T. Rowe Price Group will have high performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future revenue growth rate would be high, 5%. Future profit margin would be high, 40%. Future free cash flow to net income rate would be high, 75%. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $146. Second model. Valuation based on earnings per share. This spreadsheet contains another financial data that we will use for the stock valuation. The current earning per share price for the company is 13.2. Minimum rate of return. I will use 12%. Because when we invest in individual stocks, we are looking for a higher return than the S&P 500. For T. Rowe Price Group, analysts forecast growth rate around 4% per year in next 5 years, and future P around 12. Again, I will use 3 different scenarios for T. Rowe Price Group Company, bad, average, and good. First scenario. T. Rowe Price Group will have bad performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be low, 3%. Future P.E. would be low, 12. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $75. Second scenario. T. Rowe Price Group will have average performance in next 5 years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. 
Future growth rate would be average, 4%. Future PE would be average, 14. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $95. Third scenario. T. Rowe Price Group will have high performance in next five years, and we will use the following parameters in our calculation. Future growth rate would be high, 5%. Future PE would be high, 16. In this case, the fair value of the stock today would be $118. As you can see, today the stock is overvalued, $143, even if we expect the company's high performance in future. It's a good debt-free company with a good sustainable dividend, 3.35% yearly, however it has a very limited future growth. The stock looks fairly valued at the moment. But the current low valuation adequately reflects the future expectations. I'm a long-term investor, so I have opened a small position recently and I will buy more if it drops below $120, just for the dividend, but do not expect any growth in next few years here. Company Strengths T. Rowe Price is an independent global investment manager. It provides a variety of mutual funds, sub-advisory services, and separate account management to individuals, institutions, retirement plans, and financial intermediaries worldwide. The company has managed to grow assets under management, revenue, earnings and dividends over the past five years through a combination of organic growth, partnerships, and new product development. The company has high operating margins and a strong financial position, with no debt. Tro's return on assets of 24% and return on equity of 34% are amongst the best returns of the industry. It has a profit margin of 39%, this is better than the industry average of 25%. The company has a nice yearly dividend yield of 3.35%. With its reasonably low payout ratio, 32%, Tro's dividend payments are well covered by earnings. The dividend is nicely growing with an annual growth rate of 15%. The company also paid a special dividend of $3 per share in July 2021. Risks The company continues to face net outflows from its actively managed products, with market appreciation accounting for all asset growth in 2021. The company will face pressure to reduce fund fees to remain competitive, and is likely to spend more aggressively on advertising to attract and retain actively managed assets. As the industry consolidates, Management will be under increasing pressure to have the right products to maintain market share. A current hole in the portfolio is a lack of ETFs and other passive investment vehicles. The company's results are also dependent on product performance, and a prolonged downturn in investment results could be devastating to sales, earnings and the share price. The company is expected to show a small growth in revenue. In the coming five years, the revenue will grow by 4% yearly. Based on estimates for the next five years, the company will show a small growth in earnings per share. The EPS will grow by 1% on average per year. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.